Good morning. Today is Sunday, September 4th, 2022, and it is day number 239 in my fasting journey. Yesterday, I weighed in at 133.2 pounds, and this morning, I am at 132.4 pounds. I have lost eight tenths of a pound since yesterday, and a total of 86.6 pounds since the start of my fasting journey. So right now, I am doing rolling 72s, and I am still in round 59. I could have ended round 59 yesterday evening, but I decided to extend my fast out to um, this morning to get my refeeds back on track, get them back to mornings. And so um, right now, I am in the 83rd hour of my fast. And so as soon as I finish today's video, I will start work on my refeed. And so what I am having for my meal today is another ground beef refeed, which will consist of half a pound of ground beef, which I will cook in two tablespoons of Epic brand beef tallow. So the ground beef is 576 calories and the two tablespoons of beef tallow, that's 260 calories. And I will season the ground beef with salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and Italian seasoning. And so the original intent was for me to make my ground beef the way my mom makes ground beef when she is cooking spaghetti. Um, but the thing about her um, spaghetti, what makes it special is that she uses all fresh herbs and all like fresh spices. And that entails like a lot of chopping up of things. And I am going to be perfectly honest with you that... Um, I am not feeling all that great um, after having surpassed the 72 hour mark with my fast and um, I'm very low on energy and I think that I may have to take a little break after I make today's video um, to rest and get my second wind before you know heading to the kitchen to make my refeed and I kind of just want to say that when you are fasting, I want you to always listen to your body. And if your body is telling you that it can't go any longer on a fast, please do not hesitate to end your fast and um, don't feel guilty about doing so because we are, yes, trying to lose this weight as quickly as possible, but we are trying to lose this weight in as healthy and as safe a way as we possibly can. And so if your body just cannot go any further on a fast, just please end your fast. And so um, I do need to end my fast, um, you know, sooner rather than later. Um, and I just want to like let you know that um, there's a difference between your body wanting you to end a fast and your mind wanting you to end a fast. And so... Um, if your body, you know, can go further, then, you know, push yourself. But um, if you can't, you know, go any further, you know, end your fast. But anyways, so today's refeed is 836 calories and it's zero carbs. And after my meal, I will take my standard supplements, which includes Optimal Carnivore's grass-fed beef organ complex and Ancestral Supplements bone marrow. And I take these supplements to fill in nutritional gaps in my diet on refeeding days. And so um, that's today's refeed. So today is before and after picture Sunday and I have posted my before and after pictures in the thumbnail for today's video and um, in today's video um, I wanted to talk about something that's kind of like related to my before and after pictures. So basically every Sunday I post my pictures and um, usually I tell you like how frustrated I am of, and how like slow the process is and how it like seems like nothing is happening in my belly area. And um, you know, I always complain like every Sunday and I kind of like feel like the very fact that I am complaining like every Sunday, um, you know, about, you know, what's going on in my belly area is the reason why, you know, the process continues to be slow and frustrating. And so, you know, starting, you know, today, I am no longer con going to complain about what's going on in my belly area. And the reason why is because our minds, they do not know the difference between what's true and um, I guess what's uh, fiction. And so basically what happens is if you repeat something in your mind over and over and over again, what will happen is that you will start seeing evidence of that like 
thought that you've been repeating, um, like uh, you'll see evidence of that in your reality. And so the mind doesn't know the difference between what's good and, you know, what's bad. It doesn't know the difference between what you want and what you don't want. All it hears is that you're repeating like a thought over and over again. And it kind of like, you know, will get to work on, you know, producing that thought in your reality. And so every week I get up here and I complain about what I don't want which is, you know, the slow process. And I complain about it being frustrating. And I complain about not seeing, you know, anything, you know, happening in my belly area. And the fact that I'm doing this every week, um, you know, through the act of repetition, I am, you know, seeing evidence of that play out in my reality. And so I kind of like feel like I need to do things a little bit differently. Um, I need to like start focusing on, you know, what I actually do want. And that is a, you know, nice, um, you know, thin tone, healthy body with no belly fat on it. I would like to, you know, have like nice, you know, toned abs. And so I'm going to start seeing myself that way, um, you know, in my mind. And I'm going to repeat that to myself often enough um, so that eventually it will start playing out in my reality. And I'm no longer going to say to myself that this is a slow process. I'm going to, you know, you know, tell, see myself as this happening, you know, pretty quickly. And, you know, my mind will have no choice but to, like, show me evidence of that in my reality. Because, like I said, it can't tell the difference between what is, um, you know, true and what is fiction. It just, you know, takes what you're feeding it and will, like, show it to you in your um, reality. And so this is kind of like... Um, an extension of what I was talking about yesterday where we needed to affirm like the truth about ourselves and so you know when I was taking my before and after pictures this morning and looking at them and I was getting ready to you know start complaining about how like nothing is happening I kind of like remembered my video from yesterday and you know that's not really affirming like who I truly am you know to be complaining about like you know my body. And so that's something that I'm not going to do anymore. And I definitely suggest that if you, um, you know, look at yourself in the mirror or you see like your weight on the scale, don't complain about it anymore. Just, you know, kind of like focus on the end result, focus on what you actually want. And, you know, your mind will like think that some um, actually is what's true and will push it out into your reality. And I know this may like kind of like sound far out, but you know, I've been doing this for years. It actually works. But you know, for years I've been kind of like focusing on what I don't want and that's exactly what I've been seeing, you know, um in my reality. And so when I change, you know, kind of like things around, um, you know, I'm starting to like see that, you know, show in my reality, the things that I do want. And so um, I wanted to share that with you today. And so from henceforth, whenever I post my before and after pictures, um, I will just say, you know, here they are. And I won't, you know, complain any longer about, you know, what is or is not happening. Because in my mind, I'm going to start seeing myself, um, you know, the way that I... Um, am trying to like you know be I'm gonna see myself as like already having completed my goal and so the next thing you know you know, I would have completed my goal because that's just you know the way um, you know things work and so anyways I just wanted to share that with you today um, you know starting today let's no longer complain about our bodies you know let's see ourselves as already having accomplished our goal and um, you know in no time at all we will see that um, that's our reality. So um, anyways, that's today's video. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing Sunday and I will check back in with you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.